So in conclusion of this video series for the ultimatum theme of taking a slideshow or any movement graphic from Adobe Edge Creative Cloud, Animate Creative Cloud, here's the difference. You want to basically know how to do both. Okay, so if you have a client that it's just their client's website and the only thing you're concerned about is their client's website, then it's probably going to be less of a hoop jump to basically just put in, I need to stop saying the word basically, I keep saying that, to just put in the uh, short code. Okay, but keep in mind that you have to physically export it that way from Adobe Edge and then import it in here. Now, if you want to work smart, and yet many websites like I do, I control you know hundreds of websites, my own personal websites for marketing reasons and everything else. So the last thing I want to do is go to every single WordPress site and upload the thing and go to the smart code. That's going to be very tedious and time consuming. So once again, if in fact it's just that client's one website that you're being paid a lot of money for, hopefully you are, then I would suggest doing the plugin because it's pretty much a no-brainer. And if they change it, it's a really simple fix. You just basically output it again from Adobe Edge Animate and then just change the ID number to whatever the subsequent ID number is. Now keep in mind, I will share with you in a second, you can also delete ones that you don't have or not use it anymore. And I'll show you how to do that in just one second. As opposed to this, this is just taking the code and putting the code inside of uh, Ultimate Theme. Now it was working a second ago, why isn't that coming up now? Anyway, let me just go to the post for a second. So in this particular case, so as opposed to just copying and pasting the code into your um, ultimatum theme or any WordPress theme for that matter. So if you're going to take that same, say with an advertisement or a banner ad, I just want to share with you the different production techniques. So if that's the case, you do it across multiple sites or multiple blogs or whatever you're doing, Craigslist, et cetera, et cetera, then I would just copy and paste this code. Remember that this code has been absolutely linked to the correct path, including the correct images that we did in previous videos. So it's very important that you understand that, the difference between the two. So again, let's review that. Plan A is to use the plugin, but I would do that if it was for an isolated incident, maybe a site or two. But if it's gonna be multiple sites, especially for marketing and advertising purposes, I would definitely use this method of taking the code and copying it and paste, 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 paste. Say that 50 times fast into as many websites as you own or have access to or Craigslist. Well, actually, Craigslist doesn't allow you to put this kind of code in there, but some posting, some free posting forums do. Now, the other thing I want to share with you too, if you go to the Edge site under uh, Manage, I can choose to get rid of the old ones because it's going to save server space. Now, by doing so, so if I decided to get rid of, say, this one here, and I delete that, that's basically going to flush it out of the system, so therefore it's no longer available to me anymore. So notice the jump from one to five to three. So you can use this, but as a little tool, what we did here, and I shared with you in previous videos, is if you're not sure the ID of that particular um, slideshow that you imported, that you uploaded here, that's it right here. Incidentally, you'll notice that it doesn't change the file name here. It's still basically the name of the file that you exported. But it does in the back end, of course, it gives it a different type of identifier. So this is identifier of six, seven, eight, nine. Again, <clears throat> excuse me, my objective is to share with you, my valued students, the same exact techniques I use to make myself a lot of money by working smart, by squeezing the sponge. I mean, sometimes, you know, I know I haven't done that very recently, but going back maybe a couple years, I, I get an idea at four o'clock in the morning. I get up and I test and say, wow, that's a great technique. Let me share that with my students. So that's what separates my training. I'm constantly, constantly pushing the envelope and then turning around and sharing those production techniques with you. And that's what's gonna make you better than your coworker, better than the person that's going after the same freelance job because you can work smarter and faster. Thank you very much for being here. If you have any questions, I'm here to help you every step of the way. Have a good day. Carpe diem.